so I'm on my way to meet up with my friends that I am I'm taking pictures of them for like this business thing and whatever don't ask that's all the information <laughs> I'm gonna give you but anyways I'm on, I'm on my way there it's also gonna be kind of like a goodbye like a nice goodbye before I go to dun 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 dun, dun. I don't remember if I told you where I'm going I said I'm going to Latin America but did I say exactly where stay tuned um, I definitely didn't tell you which country so um, anyway uh, that's all I'm saying and I'm so nervous like I'm so nervous to go on this trip there's like so much to do so much to get done just like a whole bunch of packing cleaning organizing deciding what I'm gonna take with me there's gonna be all kinds of different weathers climates I'm probably gonna be there for months like I don't even know how long I'm gonna be there for and it's really scary like I don't know what to expect and then on top of that there is so much to do with the rentals to set them up fix them up and there's the house that's gonna have a whole bunch of construction being done starting tomorrow for a whole week it's gonna just be non-stop construction actually more than a week it's gonna be there's a lot that they need to do with the foundation but then also a lot of other stuff that they're gonna be working on the house um, and then of course the cleaners are gonna be there and there's just like so much so much going on and I hope oh, I'm just kind of nervous about these new tenants like I hope they're gonna be good and be respectful of the house and not treat it the way the other tenants did so all these fears and worries that I'm having, but uh, I'm very excited and it, it really motivates me and I'm just so excited. Like I can't even, I can't stop smiling. Driving to downtown Dallas for this thing. We're going to the Magnolia Hotel in downtown, which is where we're gonna take the pictures. All right, something's going on. Dallas Fire Rescue. What is happening here? All right, so I'm right by the house and these are vultures. They're Texas vultures and they're preying on this like, I don't know what that is, like a possum or this. <laughs> oh my God, that is gross. And one of them is like on the lookout while the other one is like eating this animal, this poor like dead possum. Streets of Dallas. You guys! I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm currently on my way to the house where they're doing construction. This entire week they're gonna be doing construction on that house. It is gonna cost a lot of money. I'm gonna be squeezed, squeezed. And I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited because this is about to be the start of a huge lifestyle change. I just bought my first ticket to South America. All right, we're at Lowe's, getting a bunch of supplies for the house. All right, it's a big job. A lot going on today. Damn! They're like really, really making a mess in here. I'm sure the neighbors are going to be really annoyed with all this noise and they're going to come, oh my god, like they keep, they keep sending like complaints and protests to the city about this house, but like there isn't really anything else to do. I mean, it's construction, like we have to do it, you know? Good morning. I'm still in Dallas, if you can't tell, uh, by these really nice brick walls and the nice, you know, fire curb and you know how proper and westernized everything looks and not including my face because I look like shit and uh, I can't wait to start wearing makeup more often and doing my hair more often and just feeling more like a girl and I'm very excited to be <laughs> I'm very excited to be going on this next chapter um I bought a one-way flight out to the country of Colombia and um, I know people think that it's you know really unsafe in Colombia and I know I've been telling some people and they were like oh my god it's gonna be so unsafe and you're gonna be 
so like you know stressed out or whatever but um i will have a travel partner it might it's not necessarily only going to be colombia you know traveling around uh and i'll tell you more about the life setup but first i want to just uh tell you why i'm leaving dallas um it's not permanent you know i still am li living in dallas as a resident i'm still you know have my rentals here that i'm that i uh, have been having nightmares recurringly nightmares every, every night almost nightmares about my rentals and about things going wrong just things keep going wrong and a lot of stress a lot of high expenses high costs of living and you know i'm not like a tenured real estate investor that is making so much money you know i'm a person that is very very over leveraged squeezed dry doesn't have a job doing all this so that i could have a better life constant anxiety constant panic attacks constant nightmares um the the cost of living in dallas is going up very fast because so many people are moving to texas from other states uh, especially California and you know I'm not blaming them because I'm a Californian myself who moved to Texas so you know this is just life um, people want to go better to better places treat them better and Texas treats you better than California does by far it's not even a comparison so that's why I moved to Texas but even in Texas the cost of living is going up a lot there are so many things to count account for um, in general, the cost of living all over the USA is going up and the stresses and the bureaucracy and the setbacks, so many little setbacks that you can't even think of. And to me, I just wonder when I look around, and I see people being all calm. How are they not having anxiety and panic attacks? Because for me, it's constant. And so, you know, I don't want to be one of these people who's like, Oh, you guys are losers. I'm out of here. You know, like, you know, like an ego trip. Like, I'm out of here. USA sucks. Bye. No, it, that's not it for me at all. I just, I just got to a place where I'm like, I need to get out of here. Like, I need to get out of Dallas. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need to spend a long time calming down and I need to vlog more often. And my vlogs, oh my God, you could see from my past few months, my vlogs have been just crazy and stressful. And like, you know, I'm just constantly crying or like getting high or whatever. You know, I don't wanna be high all the time in order to be okay. It's just not a good lifestyle for me. And there's so much driving around. Everything takes a long time because you know, Dallas is big and everything is so far from each other. So there's a lot of time wasted driving around. Getting in and out of my this complex is such a hassle. It's so hard to, you know, it's such a hassle. Um, everything just takes so much time. And then the cost of food, oh, so expensive. Eating out, you know, forget about it. I went to get an acai bowl the other day and I know like people are like, oh, well don't get acai bowls. That's, you know, hippie food. Acai bowls, what is it? It's just fruits, granola. You know, in the morning you're like, okay, I want to get a granola fruit bowl. I go to the granola fruit bowl by my place, which by the way, I bought my place in a very bad area on purpose because I the because the cost of living because the the values were going up really fast, which good it did it's going up very fast but then also these places near my house which you would think right near section 8 housing they would be a little bit cheaper for now no like i went to get an acai bowl 16 dollars and 42 cents was what the acai bowl cost and that is more than you'll pay that's 16 dollars and 42 cents that's your whole lunch for a week in colombia and i'm not exaggerating you'll get like a whole lunch meal for $2.50, you know, and you know, I've been just sitting and looking at these menus. You want to go to a high-end place, a high-end restaurant, five, six dollars, you know, maybe $10. You know, you want to go to like a really, really fancy place where they serve you gold, where you eat gold in Colombia, maybe like $15. So, all of these things add up and 
forget about cost of health care, cost of, oh, I, you know, student loans, which, you know, I don't have a job, so I'm, my repayment is zero, right, as of now, but if I were to start paying my student loans, it would be really high. It would be a lot. It would be a lot monthly. You know, I'm not paying for health insurance because I don't have a job. If I were to start paying for health insurance, I'd be paying $313 monthly. And that, I don't know how you guys are doing it. You know, maybe you have jobs, maybe your, your, your job pays for your health insurance. Health insurance is really expensive in the United States. And then on top of that, not only that, but the health insurance doesn't even cover anything. I still have to pay out of pocket. I paid $1,700 the other day for a dental procedure, for a dental procedure. I paid $1,700 out of pocket uh, because they didn't accept health insurance. Or actually, no, they did accept health insurance. Here's the thing. They accept health insurance, but you have to call the health insurance and like they won't pay it on up, up front you have to like take the receipt and take it to your health insurance and then they reimburse you i'm sure you you guys have done this before <sighs> bottom line is i love the usa it kept my family safe you know my, my parents are refugees from a country that wasn't free and it saved my parents and helped them live the american dream but for me the american dream is a nightmare <laughs> You know, it really is, and I'm sure other people are fine, you know, but for me, like, right now, and, you know, maybe later I'll be fine, too. So, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of your personal journey, and I don't want to dunk on anybody that is, like, happy in the United States, because it's safe here, it's great, you know, kind of. <laughs> You know, it's, you know, there's infrastructure. And then another thing is that th there's a lot of new infrastructure in a lot of these emerging countries all over Latin America where the internet is higher and faster. So like, it's such a hassle to get out of my, this complex that I'm in right now. So you could say, well, Pardis, don't go in and out a lot. Just, you know, get a bunch of groceries, get a bunch of food and stay in there. And there's a pool and it's nice and you can just stay here infrastructure is so old that like they run on systems like comcast like xfinity whatever you pay so much money monthly for very slow internet and this internet is so slow i can't even do basic things i can't even do basic like sending emails literally sending an email is is not working on this internet it's just so slow so you know in a lot of these emerging countries they because they've never had internet so far they like the the new places that they build for expats which are so cheap, it's so incredibly cheap for us, but still overpriced for them. Uh, they, they use fiber internet, which is way cheaper and it's so fast. Fiber internet is the best. I used it for my first house and um, it works, you know, there's no loading time. It just goes fast and it's cheaper, ironically. So all these things um, for me and just, a, you know, I just need a slower pace of life. I don't wanna, think about money so much and I know you know while I'm in the United States like everyone I meet it's just this attitude of like money is evil talking about money is, I don't want to talk about money I don't want I don't want to talk about money I don't want to stress about money and I don't want anyone putting me down and making me feel like I'm evil for talking or stressing out about money I want to be the person that doesn't say a word about money because I'm just not thinking about it because I'm just relaxed Pardis, all you care about is money like just 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 relax go to the spa enjoy and i'm like yeah but like you need money to do that like do you do you know that do you know that you need money to go to like a five-star spa like i don't know how you guys are doing it i just don't want to have these conversations anymore i don't want to have conversations about money i don't want to be i don't want to be made to feel like a villain for very basic survival needs. I don't wanna be having to cut back on food. I don't wanna be afraid and guilty anytime I drive the car because it's using up gas. You have to drive everywhere and there's always something going wrong with this car. Everything is always breaking down. I'm constantly having to pay. I, yeah, as I said in another video, I think at this point I've paid more money on repairs on this car than on the car itself. I caught, I paid the, for the car $4,800 on my credit card. So anyway, 
yeah, hopefully you won't hear me talking so much about money anymore and then no one will have to be so annoyed at me. <laughs> and I won't have to be so annoyed at me and I'll be a more pleasant person to be around. I wanna be a more pleasant, less anxious person to be around. I don't wanna have heart problems anymore. I want a cardiologist to look at my heart and say, spick and span. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go get a bunch of tests. There's a lot of stuff that I need, you know, in order to go to a country like that, vaccination stuff, proof, proof, stuff like that. You actually, actually you don't need proof of a COVID vaccine for Colombia, but you need to show uh, proof, you need to show a, a, po a negative COVID test from a lab. Um, Colombia is also a country where after 90 days you need a visa, so um, I won't be staying there longer than 90 days. So um, I got a one-way ticket. They probably are gonna ask me to see my return ticket, uh, in which case I will show them a ticket to Ecuador um, because I don't plan to come back very quickly. I hope I don't have to come back anytime soon. I really hope. I remember that the COVID testing place is closed. I mean, the place that's free because if I wanted to do a COVID test at CVS or any other place, it's gonna cost at least $140. The other clinic where they did the vaccines, the travel clinic, it would cost $150, and by the way, it costs $750, $756 to do all my other vaccines for Colombia, which is nuts. It's nuts. And it, you know, like healthcare is not nearly that expensive anywhere uh, in the third world, at least. Which, you know, everyone, you know, so anyway, so I'm just gonna go to the gym first, actually. Um, and maybe calm down my heart rate a little bit, get on treadmill, and then I'll go to the vax, uh, COVID testing place. Alrighty, we got the streets of Dallas. So they did a whole bunch of construction on the house, uh, foundation repairs and all kinds of other stuff. And then I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. I learned how to install my first like outlet box, electrical outlet box or whatever you, you want to call it. And, uh, you know, bruised myself doing a whole bunch of stuff that I've never done before. And honestly, like, I, you know, my uncle actually suggested that I film some of it for you guys. And I think it would have been interesting if I filmed it, but I just feel so stressed out by all of that and having nightmares about all of that stuff that I just like, I just wanted to get it over with. And so that's why I didn't get it filmed, but there's gonna be way more fun stuff on this channel soon. Like it's not gonna be all just this, you know. All right, I think I found this place where there's orange cones. Just follow the orange cones. I'm at the Ellis Davis Field House. There. So we're just gonna follow the orange cones to the COVID testing. It's like the only COVID testing that's free in Dallas. Like who even said that COVID testing is free? Because I went to CVS and they were gonna charge me $139 to take a COVID test. This is such, so ridiculous. It's like, just like a whole bunch of extra regulation. Ooh, there it is. I see it, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. The John Kinky Stadium. The John Kinky Stadium. And it looks like there's a health thing. Yep, yep, yep. There's where they're doing it. I think I just park. Electricity is out. We have no power. Oh, do you do you know when when they'll? They said two hours, two hours ago. So they're saying the electricity is down, so they can't do it. I don't know. Oh, I did get my test finally, and I feel good. Actually, like as soon as I like I left, because I didn't want to wait, and then I ate something. I came back. As soon as I got back, they they were like their electricity went back on and they started doing it again. And uh, so that's it basically. Um, you know, I'm happy 
that Dallas is where I started building, but Dallas is not where I will be for the short term being um, because it's just too expensive. <laughs> you know, no hate, just, you know, just out here trying to survive. And uh, hope you guys are doing well. And I, it's good to see everybody and there's gonna be way nicer looking videos out there. Downtown Dallas. I guess it's goodbye for now.